It's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and I'm here with your card reading for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the reading and have a really positive week. I will be using my teacup tarot deck, so let's get right on with your reading. This is the reading for Taurus. And your overall energy here is the card, the six of coins. This is lovely. This is about abundance and new opportunity coming in to find you. Our lovely angel on the card thought it was raining, but these are pennies from heaven. These are everything that she's been hoping for and manifesting. So keep your eyes open for new opportunities coming in to find you this week. Our help or our hurdle, we have another six card. Got three actually, because there's one down here. The six of teacups card reminds you, this is a card of the past. This is the card that tells you that somebody from the past could be coming in to help you. This card also tells you to remember the past with love and realize how far you've come and how well you're doing. And our lovely angel on the card here, look. She's remembering when the dog was a tiny puppy. And now look, they've won the championships. Look how far they've come. Look how well they're doing. So that's lovely mindfulness for you this week. Somebody from the past coming in to help you. Or remembering the past and realizing how well you're doing taking all that wisdom from the past and moving forward. Our guidance is the Eight of Pencils card, and this card brings with it a lovely dose of self-belief and self-confidence. It's the Oh Yes I Can card. And our lovely angel here, look, she's got all her negative thoughts in a balloon there, and she's just about to pop it with a pin because she's had a delivery from the self-belief company saying, oh, yes, I can. So don't let any fears or lack of confidence hold you back. Support yourself, have the confidence and self-belief when you're moving forward. And that's just what is we're going to talk about with the next card. How can we help ourselves? The five of teacups asks you to move forwards towards joy. It follows on beautifully from the eight of pencils there. And our angel here, look, she's leaving behind these three little teacups which are spilt. They were in the past. She's learned all the lessons. She's got lots of wisdom from those. And more importantly, She's taking that along with her, but she's moving in a new direction. Look, she's got her back to us and she's moving towards joy. And here there's a full teapot and two cups full of tea waiting for her. So it's making that move forward, acknowledging the past, leaving it behind and moving towards abundance and joy. Pulling it all together, we have card six again the lovers and this is the card of choices and decisions this is the card asking you to do what feels right to choose what feels right to you that's just what our angel's doing here look she's looking at all the different roses and she's taking a time and she's going to choose the one that feels right for her that makes her feel good so be mindful this week Make your choices and decisions from the heart. Do what feels right for you. And another mindfulness card for you, the Four of Teacups, reminds you again to look at the bigger picture. Now, our lovely angel here, she's so focused on the past, these three little teacups here, She's missing this golden opportunity right beside her. All she has to do is turn around 
and it's there. So check all the opportunities this week, reread things, things that you might have had an opportunity to do before and you've gone, mm, not sure, look at them again because they might be this golden opportunity right in front of you that you've been waiting for. So just to clarify, the Zero of Wisdom card says it's time to follow your dreams, enjoy new opportunities. That's just what we were talking about here. And it also says you can do it. A lovely angel here, she's stepping through the archway, taking that leap of faith, and she might be stepping out of a comfort zone as well. But that's where she's going to find the joy and abundance. The two of thought is another card of choices and decisions. This card says trust that you already know what to do and make that positive decision. The eight of life card comes up and says, it's time to try something new. We're talking about that here. Learn some new skills and specifically pay attention to the small details. So that's dotting the I's, crossing the T's, reading the small print twice. Take time to look at all the finer details this week. And the six of emotion card is a double message for you. Same card, different deck. Consider what you always wanted to do. It's remembering the past with love, but it's doing what you always wanted to do. That's what the angel here is doing. And look here, she's got a choice of going to university, being an astronaut or a chef. So when these decisions come along, when you're making these decisions from the heart, what feels good to you? What makes your heart sing? Those are the ones that you need to be following up on. And the four of thought says, pause, meditate and rest and make decisions later. Now here it says, make your decisions now. The four of thought says make them from a quiet place make sure you rested make sure you've thought everything through no time for rushed or hasty decisions so look at the small print look at the finer details and make your choices when your mind is clear and quiet make your choices from the heart and the 11 of wisdom card says, use kindness to get results. Be confident. That's just what the eight of pencils was saying. Using kindness and compassion can bring the results that you need. So have that self-reliance. Support yourself. Know that you can do it. Get ready to step out of the comfort zone to take that leap of faith and try something new. This lovely opportunity could be right beside you. You need to turn around and have a closer look at that because that could be just the opportunity you're waiting for. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.